I've been in this role uh, for three terms, a little over three terms. Uh, I will be term limited uh, if I get elected this uh, fourth time, which I'm looking forward to if, uh, if the voters will be gracious enough to send me back. All right, so um, why don't we talk a little bit about your experience and your background. So what are your biggest issues and what do you think you, know, you bring to the table for this role? Well, I, I spent uh, f 20 years in municipal government as a city councilman in the city of Oregon. And um, I hold a degree in political science from the University of Toledo, an administrative officer in the United States Army before the, uh, during the Vietnam War. But I grew up in a large family where my father was the city auditor in the city of Toledo. And around a large dining room table, the discussion often was our responsibility as citizens to other people. And so I uh, sort of inculcated in, in, in my being is a, a, a public service and a responsibility to others. And um, so uh, I've been gracious, uh, uh, voters have been gracious enough to reelect me. Uh, when I retired from the railroad, which was my day job, it's what I, uh, what my, what I was able to, uh, my wife and I, Sandy, were able to raise four children uh, and uh, pay, pay uh, college debt, uh, uh, pay uh, car payments and house payments. And uh, so, uh, uh, that's uh, sort of my story. Uh, when I came back from the Army, I had, had plans on getting into politics and uh, possibly law school, but I met Sandy and I found out that my passion for her was a little bit greater than my passion for government. And uh, so after uh, several years uh, and uh, three or four ki three, three kids being born, uh, three of the four, and somebody came to me came to me, people in Oregon, and say, hey, would you run for city council? And, uh, you know, I, I told her, you know, that, that I had been asked, and she said she knew that it was very important to me, and so um, she said, why don't you go for it? And uh, uh, first time, uh, the voters uh, uh, voted for me, and uh, they've been uh, voting for me ever since. And when I retired from the railroad, I thought the, the gig was up, the show was over, but uh, I got an opportunity to, to uh, serve in, in uh, the job that I sort of advocated for all my life, a state representative uh, for the district that I live in. Having been a, 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 a labor guy, a guy that made his living in uh, bib overalls and steel-toed shoes, I advocate for, for working class men and women in, our, in, in, in the state of Ohio. And that is very, very important to me. But in addition to that, something that, uh, that, that happened here in uh, the city of Toledo uh, several years back when we could not drink our water in the city of Toledo. Now the city of Oregon has a separate uh, water treatment plant and I could, uh, I could bore you with all that, but I won't right now. But just to say that, uh, that it opened up a lot of people's eyes to a problem with uh, the, the excessive nutrient load in the western basin of Lake Erie, which essentially poisons the water and makes it impossible for, for us to drink it. Now, um, for years before this, on city council, the federal government came to us, the U US EPA said, hey, you in uh, municipal government are out of compliance with federal laws with respect to clean water. And so we invested millions of dollars over the backs of taxpayers and established great improvements to our wastewater and water treatment plants, made them world-class, first-class operations. And then here, about 15, 20 years ago, things started to change in the water, and we knew, for the most part, for the most part, it was not the cities because the cities had already fixed our problem, and uh, 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 and clearly, several of the universities all through the region all come up with the same. Uh, they all did the studies and all came up with the same solu uh, problem, that the problem was overwhelmingly 60 to 70, 80 percent. Uh, farm runoff and so that's where we are right now we're in a tough battle um, uh, with our um, uh, with our allies uh, uh, at state government to try to do nothing more that bring compliance into federal and state laws so clean water is your number one issue then 
Well, it, 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 labor has always been an issue, fairness, uh, uh, equal pay for men and women. Those things all, all resonate with me, and I thought that um, uh, those would probably be my issues, but uh, uh, once, uh, you know, uh, things happen differently in state government, and so I'm, uh, I have a very, very strong passion for that. And um, so if there's one other thing that you would really want voters to know about you who, um, you know, maybe they, this is the first election that they've really paid attention to in a while, um, what would that be? I, I think maybe that I, what I've uh, mentioned before that I come from a large family and uh, I, I have a background that is a, uh, not just an interest in but a passion for public service and uh, clearly I'm not in it for the buck, uh, I'm in it for service, I'm in it for the community, uh, uh, my uh, family has been here for nearly a hundred years, uh, unfortunately the ki my kids that graduated from state State colleges here in the, the state of Ohio found employment someplace else, and I would like to work to make the uh, make the economic uh, uh, atmosphere in northwestern Ohio a a vigorous uh, uh, a, vig a vigorous uh, uh, environment and vis a, a vigorous uh, opportunity uh, oppor opportunities for them to come back and find employment. That's uh, that's one of my goals. I'm a strong believer in uh, capitalism. Uh, I, and I, but at times like this, it's the only one to solve some big problems for capitalism is good government. And I'm a good government guy. All right. Is there anything else you want to add? Anything else you think people should know? Well, uh, I guess uh, the only thing that uh, they, I would like them to know that I'm committed to this job. It's the most important thing in my life, except for getting to see the grandchildren once in a while. And uh, I'll work for you and do, the, do my very best for you. And uh, I hope that you'll see fit to uh, give me an opportunity to serve you for two more years.